Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So I have something super, super exciting to share with you guys. Kiara Sky sent over their newest release to me and I am just so excited for this launch. I have had this product for a while now and I have just been super excited to share it with you guys. When I first unboxed these new items, I fell in love. I loved the packaging. I just loved everything about them. And it's even more exciting that I am finally able to share these new items with you guys. So these new items are the new gel art pods, nail art brushes, and the brush case. I currently do not have the brush case, so I'm not able to physically show you guys the brush case yet but I will pop a picture up on screen of the brush case because they launched their nail art brushes. They also have a brush case where you can hold all of your nail art brushes. Mine is currently on the way, but it did get held up a little bit. So I am a little sad that I cannot show it to you guys, but seeing the pictures online, it looks like a really cute brush case and I cannot wait for it to arrive. So here is just the package that Kiara Sky sent over to me. Again, Kiara Sky packaging is top notch. I love the overall box with the cute little message, the Kiara Sky, and then we have the pink tissue paper with the sticker and then the pink heart shaped packaging peanuts. Just so adorable. Just wait until you actually see these products though. So these products are currently on the Kiara Sky website. You can purchase the gel art pods, the nail art brushes, and the brush case. This apron here was just sent to me since I am a brand ambassador for Kiara Sky. And I also just love and appreciate it so much. I love like branded items like aprons and water bottles or anything like that. Anything branded from my favorite brands. I just think it's always so cute and this apron is just a really nice addition for me to have. I did just quickly want to share with you guys how cute this apron is. I did wear it for the video and I'm going to be wearing it anytime I do my nails now. I just think it gives a more professional look and just puts me in a more professional atmosphere. Of course, no one's really going to see me in this apron except for my pups because I don't do any Buddy's nails, but because I do my own nails, this still can be super helpful to help protect my clothes and I don't really have to wear anything specific. I can wear a nice outfit and still protect my outfit when wearing that apron. It is just so cute. It also has pockets and just a normal tie and I just think it fits so nicely and it just makes me feel um, like more professional and more a part of Kiara Sky since it does have the Kiara Sky logo. So now let's go ahead and actually check out the new launches from Kiara Sky. So like I mentioned, I don't have the brush case yet. Once that arrives to me, I will be sharing it in a upcoming YouTube video and I will also be sharing it on my Instagram. But as of right now in this package, I have the nail art brushes and the gel art pods. I'm going to first start off with the nail art brushes. So for the nail art brushes, there are eight new nail art brushes. You can purchase them as the eight brush collection, but you can also purchase them individually. So if you just want to try out one of the brushes to see if you're going to like it, or if you want to try out all of the liner brushes, or get like the square or the round brushes or the 3D art brush, you are able to purchase the brushes separately, which I absolutely love. I think that's so nice because if you only want one, you can purchase one, but you can also purchase more than one or you can get all eight of the brushes in the collection. So I'm pretty sure that for the collection, it is discounted. So I believe if you purchase them all separately, but not as a collection, it will come out to around $82. But if you purchase them as the nail art brush collection and get all eight brushes, it's $70. I also know that if you purchase it in the collection, you cannot use my discount code. But if you purchase the brushes separately, you are able to use my discount code to save some money off your purchase. But because the brushes as a collection is already discounted, you are not able to use my code. 
So for the brushes, there are eight total brushes and they are gorgeous. I pulled out an acrylic brush from Kiara Sky just to compare that the brush handle is identical. It is so gorgeous. I love how they did the nail art brushes, the brush handle matching the acrylic brush handle. I think the brush handles on these brushes are stunning. I love them so much. And to be quite honest with you guys, these are probably my new favorite nail art brushes. The quality is absolutely amazing. And just the look of them, it just looks so professional. You just feel like you are just, I don't know, like it's just amazing. I can't even speak how like happy I am to have these. But the overall look of the brush, you do have the brush cap and then on the actual brush is the Kiara Sky logo and then also the like specific brush. This one here is the small flat brush. This one is absolutely perfect for doing like small nail art such as flowers. It is also great for builder gel and cleaning up like around your cuticles. Great for blending and ombres. This one here is the flat medium, so it is a little bit bigger than the small brush. This one is perfect for gels, acrylic paint, polishes, and builder gels. Of course, also for blending, shading, and creating seamless ombres. This one here is the small round brush. This is great for creating textured designs, cleaning the cuticle area, and applying builder gel. This one is the medium round brush, so again, just a little bit bigger than the medium small. It is perfect for cleaning around the cuticle area, applying builder gel, and creating the perfect French smile line. This is the 3D art brush, and this is made with 100% Kalinske hair for flawless 3D art. So you can use this with acrylic powder to get the 3D flowers or any other art, but you could also try using that with the new Flex Gel product if you are more of a gel person. This is one of the three liners, the small liner brush with a super fine point for accuracy and control, perfect for fine line painting and detailed precision. This next one is the medium liner brush. It is perfect because it has control and precision with a 9mm liner brush, ideal for fine detailed art to long crisp lines. And the last brush is the last liner and this is the extra long liner brush. The key to effortless thin long lines and curves ensures clean and crisp lines every time. And these liner brushes, I love them. If you are looking for good nail art brushes, I 100% recommend these. Again, I am not just saying that because I'm a brand ambassador for Kiara Sky. I am truly honest in all of my videos. When I love a product, I'm going to tell you guys that I love it. When I don't like a product, I'm going to tell you guys that I don't love it. And these brushes, mm, they are chef's kiss. I love them. They are really good quality and they were so perfect for the nail art that I did end up doing in today's video. So let's move on to the next item here, which are the actual gel pods. So these are gel art paints and there are 12 ultra pigmented gels and I love these. They are definitely super pigmented. They really have that very pigmented gel and I love all of the colors. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. The packaging for both of these boxes, I think it's so cute. I love the like gold or rose gold color and the pink and the white and then the little like see-through thing on the gel pods here was was a art palette. I thought that was so cute. But overall, here is just how the packaging looks. I think it is a very sleek design. Taking a look at the gel pods, they are 5 ml little pods. They're, they do each have a name. The name is on the top of the pod and then the letters of the writing on the top is also kind of like a color swatch for what color the pod is going to be. On the bottom side is also the name of the gel as well. And then when you open it up, they all do come sealed. I was a little bit sad that they didn't have like little pull tabs to be able to open them easier. 
but I like using these this little cuticle cutter tool here going around the outside to cut off the seal. You can also use a box cutter to go around the outside to easily open these seals as well. But here's just the first one here. I basically just pulled this one out so you guys could have a look at what the overall packaging looks like, what you're going to expect when you open it up. So off camera, I went ahead, opened all of the seals, and here are the colors side by side. These I did use already to do my swatches, which I'll be showing you here in a minute. But these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can just look inside of these and see how pigmented they are. The colors are very bright. I also love how some nudes and browns are included, but also you get a black and a white. These colors, again, can be purchased as a collection and you can save a little bit of money, but these colors can also be purchased separately as well. So I do quickly just want to show all of the colors. That first one there, the name was Pitch Black, and it is a beautiful black shade. Super dark, very pigmented. This one was a blank slate, and it was a true white color. This next one is Sunshine, and it is a bright yellow, just super bright, very cheerful color. The next one is Hot Lava, and it is a fiery orange Oh my goodness, this one is hot. I love this one. This one would be super beautiful compared with the hot pink color. The next one is named Ketchup, and I love that because it's a red color, and I think that's just too funny. I love the names here, but that one definitely, it made me giggle. This one is Pinky Swear, just a beautiful neon bright pink color. This and that orange would look, oh, so good together. This is Plumsy, and it is a purple color, just a very beautiful true purple. The next one is Sapphire, and it is a brilliant blue. I love the color blue. This one is so gorgeous, just a very beautiful ocean blue. The next one is Leaf It Alone, and it is a beautiful green color, of course. The next one is Going Nuts, and it is a rich brown. It's just a warm and earthy toned color, a very nice brown color to have. The next one is named Fawn, and it is a very beautiful nude shade. It's more a lighter, cool tone nude, in my opinion. And the last and final one is a beige color. This one is also another nude, but just a perfect classic beige. Here are the colors all swatched. This has two coats of each gel pod color and a top coat applied. Oh my goodness, these colors are absolutely stunning. I love them so much. I really hope that unboxing didn't take forever. Um, I just really wanted to share these products with you guys, especially because I was just super excited with them. But you can truly see here how amazing the gel pods are and then you will also be able to see me using the nail art brushes once I get into the nail set. I do quickly just want to mention again that you can purchase these items in bundles. So you can get the nail art brush collection in a bundle. You can also get the gel pod pro paint collection in a bundle. Both of those bundles you will save some money. They also do have another bundle available where you can get the pods and the brushes and a free brush case. You can also purchase all of the gel pod colors separately. So if you only like one or if you just want to try out some of the colors, you are able to do that. You can also do the same exact thing with the nail art brushes and of course you can purchase the nail art brush case separately as well. I will be linking all of these new products down below in the description box. I highly recommend you checking them out. I do know that the price point can be a bit high for some people, but honestly, if you're looking for good quality products, if you want to be able to perform in nail art, get better at what you're doing, I 100% recommend them. I know it can be something where you save up and you get only one or two of the colors, but I say go for it. Um, I think they're really good quality and I do really recommend them if you are a beginner or if you more are at a more advanced level. If you do decide to purchase any of the brushes or gel pods or brush case separately, I will go ahead and let you know my discount code. It is nailed by Brandy 10 and it will save you some money off your purchase. Remember, if you are purchasing the bundles or the collections, you're not able to use my discount code. 
You can still support me though by shopping through my affiliate link and I'll be putting all of that information down below in the description box. But now let's jump in and actually do some nails and try out these products. I'm going to be doing a Toy Story nail art set. I'm very excited for this. I'm starting off with some gel extensions. I'm going to be using the Kiara's Guide Jelly Tip Starter Kit. I didn't actually go in with any nail prep because I knew this video was going to get a little bit longer than usual because I wanted to show everything and then apply the nails and then do the nail art. So I just have on a peel off base coat but with the Kiara Sky Jelly Kit I have tried it in several other videos in the past. So I'll be linking some of those in the description box and up in the cards. That way if you want to check out those videos and actually see the Jelly Tip Starter Kit you are able to take a look and just watch those videos where I go in depth a little bit more. So I don't really feel like explaining anything because recently I've been doing a lot of gel extension or gel X tutorials on my channel. But basically I sized out my nail tips. I already have my peel off base coat on. If you want your nails to last, of course you would go in and prep your natural nails instead of applying a peel off base coat. But because I'm popping these off, I have my peel off base coat applied. I am using step number three, which is the builder gel to quickly apply these nails. I'm adding a little bit in to each nail and then placing it down on my natural nail, doing a flash cure, repeating the steps to all of the nails, and then I'll do my full cure and go in with some quick filing. After I was finished with my filing and I removed all of the dust because I am working with more of a solid gel polish, I personally recommend going in with a base coat layer. I don't always do this. I know some people like to do it every single time no matter what gel polish they're using. But if you do not do this and you're using a gel pod or a gel, a thicker gel paint, I would 100% recommend going in with a layer of base coat. So I did that. I applied base coat to all of the nails and cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. I pulled out my first nail art brush here, which I believe is the um, round, the medium round brush. And I'm going to go in and actually prep the nail art brush. I like to prep my nail art brushes when using gel pods or solid gel paint specifically when I am using those products again just to make the application flow a little bit smoother just to make it glide on like butter. So to prep the nail art brush I just took a little bit of that base coat applied some onto a palette and then I just rubbed that nail art brush into the base coat. It's very easy to do and it can be a lifesaver when making your gel polish application when using solid gel paints just flow on like butter you will won't get any streaks and it will just make things look a lot better it is also something just super quick and easy to do doing the base coat method like that is also another great way to clean your brushes it doesn't hurt them or damage the bristles of the brush but it really helps to remove all of the gel product that are in the brush bristles so like i mentioned earlier i am going to be doing a toy a toy story themed nail art set so each of the nails base will are going to be a different color 
So starting off with the index finger here, I'm going in with Going Nuts, which is the brown gel pod. I applied one coat of that to the nail I cured for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. I would recommend curing for 60 seconds because of how pigmented these gels are. You also want to make sure that you're going in with a thin coat. Building up these gels, it's going to be very easy because even though they are super pigmented, they're still a nice thin gel to where you can build up the coats and you can get away with two coats of the gel looking like only one coat but it is still a super pigmented gel. That is just my personal opinion but do keep in mind don't go in with a super thick coat or you are going to have troubles curing it. So for that nail I did do two coats of that brown just to get the color opacity that I wanted. I'm now going into the next nail here and I am going to be mixing the blue and the white. I did do my mixing on the nail. You could totally just use a palette, but I thought it would be easier just to put some of that white and blue on the nail and then um, blend that out and mix everything to get the perfect shade of light blue. These gel pods are perfect for mixing colors because you get your red, your orange, your yellow, green, blue. You get like the whole rainbow. You are able to go in and make lighter, darker versions. You can mix the colors to create different colors. If you want to have a aqua color, you could mix the blue and the green to really create. You can just create so many different colors with this color palette because they do give you more than just the primary colors. So for that blue nail, I felt like one coat had the um, correct opacity that I wanted, so I didn't feel it necessary to go in with a second coat, but I did cure that nail for 60 seconds. I'm now moving on to the next nail, and I'm trying to color match the yellow from like the Toy Story, like the Woody's like outfit. I want to really get that color to match as perfectly as I could. So I decided that I would take the yellow and the orange color, so sunshine and um, hot lava maybe. I, I don't have the names memorized yet. I'm just kind of remembering from what I said earlier. But either way, the yellow gel paint and the orange gel paint, and I did the same exact thing as on the blue nail. I just mixed those colors on the actual nail, and then obviously once the colors were mixed together, I just painted the entire nail, covering everything. I cured that for 60 seconds in the nail lamp, and then for this nail, I decided that I wanted to make it a little bit darker, so I am going in with a second coat here, just again mixing a little bit of the orange and yellow together and that second coat just really gave me the opacity that I wanted. Once I had that second coat applied, I went in and did a 60 second cure and then simply on my pinky, I will just be doing a full white nail. To get the color opacity, I did go in with two coats and I did a 60 second cure in between each coat. The medium round brush was absolutely perfect for applying my base color on all of these nails. I just love how it has the round bristles so going around the cuticle area is just super easy to do. I also, you did see me use the small square brush to do a little bit of cleanup. I did just dip that brush into some rubbing alcohol and that is how I cleaned up the gel that I got on my skin before curing. 
I'm now going to be moving into doing some nail art. For most of the nail art, I will use the liner brushes. I kind of just switch in between whichever one I feel most comfortable using. I believe I did use the medium and the extra long brush. I don't think I used the small brush on this nail set. But I am going to be starting off with the index finger, which is the brown nail, using the black gel pod. Because I'm going to be doing some line work and writing Andy on the nail, I decided to go in with a matte top coat. I know some people prefer to work on just the regular gel polish. They like to work on a top coat, a base coat, a matte top coat. It is all just a personal preference. I decided for this nail I would try doing it on a matte top coat. I loved it. I think doing line work on a matte top coat, it just makes it smooth and glide on a lot easier. So I applied that matte top coat and now I'm just going in with the like middle liner brush, which is like the medium length size. And this one was so perfect. It when I was writing Andy, I was honestly so nervous. I'm not the best at nail art. I feel like I'm better at more of the beginner friendly stuff, the basic stuff. And I know this nail set is still basic. I didn't really do any character nail art. But this brush for writing Andy, I was super nervous, but it was so easy. I do have this footage sped up because I didn't want this video to get super long. But it was very easy for me to do. I only had to do it once. Like this is my first try and it turned out so perfectly. I wrote Andy. I cured that for 60 seconds and then I finished off the line on the A. Cured that for 60 seconds and I loved how it looks. By the way, I know the N is backwards. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, like in the Toy Story show, like... You know if you've watched the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I did just want to mention that in case you guys haven't watched Toy Story, that way I don't get any comments about the N, but it was like that on purpose. Moving on to the next nail here, for the blue background nail, I am just going to be doing some clouds. I did use only gel, the gel pod paints for this. Doing the clouds, it was very easy to do. I did use a dotting tool. One thing I will say though is because I used a dotting tool and when I was doing the clouds, the clouds did get more of like an embossed or 3D texture. It wasn't terrible. Um, the top coat was e easily able to go over top and smooth out the nail. But I do just want to mention that because these gel polishes are more of a solid, thicker gel polish. Um, it did thicken up a little bit, especially because I was kind of like doing like a stippling effect to create the clouds. Once I had on the clouds, I cured that for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. For the next nail, which is going to be the yellow nail, this is going to be like the color of Woody's outfit or the like design of it. So I'm using the red gel pod and this time I'm going to use the extra long liner brush. I did go ahead and put a matte top coat on that yellow nail just because again I'm going in with some lines. I'm using the red gel art paint and just like I did with the black, I kind of dip my brush in the gel paint and then I take a palette and brush out the brush on the palette if that makes sense because I don't want a lot of gel to be on the nail art brush. I want it to be thinned out that way I can have the precision that the brush is going to give me and if I have that gel bulked up on the brush I'm obviously not going to be able to get the precision. So just wiping the brush on your palette it's super helpful and can really help you a lot. So I like to personally do that. You can also try wiping it on the side of the actual gel pod if you like to do that better. Whatever works for you though. I did start off by doing three lines from the cuticle to the free edge. I cured that for 60 seconds. And then now I'm going in with the lines that are going to create kind of like the plaid pattern on the nail. And I just do lines going across the nail. And then I'll cure that for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. I'm quickly going to explain what I'm going to do on my pinky just because I want to share some helpful tips with these nail art brushes and I don't want to get like too far into the video. 
So for the pinky, you can see me picking up the um, dotting tool again. I am just going to be doing some cow print, basically the same thing as the clouds, but making it look more like a cow, having the spots on the nail. I do that and then I cure that for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how I clean these nail art brushes and the basic way and the best way in my opinion to clean professional nail art brushes, ones that you don't want to ruin, is in base coat. So basically the same method as when you're prepping your brush for your application. You can put some base coat out on a palette and dip the brush into that base coat and then use like a lint-free wipe to wipe away the remaining base coat. When you wipe away that base coat, it is going to pull out all of the remaining gel product and you are going to be easily able to clean your brush that way. I feel like that is honestly the best way to clean your nail art brushes if you don't want to ruin them. You can also clean your nail art brushes in rubbing alcohol. I also like doing that and you can use rubbing alcohol on your cleanup brush to clean up your smile line, to clean up your cuticle area. So you are able to use these brushes in the rubbing alcohol to do your cleanup. You can clean them that way if you would like as well. I do know that rubbing alcohol can dry out your nail art brushes. I've seen people use cuticle oil to help like nourish the bristles of the brush. I haven't really tried that because I feel like anytime I use rubbing alcohol, if I just go in and kind of rub the brush in a little bit of base coat, it helps to soften up the bristles. I don't really know the proper way to clean brushes, but I just personally like to use the base coat method or dipping it in some rubbing alcohol. Those both work well for me and it doesn't seem to damage any of my brushes. I know the video is moving along pretty quick here, but I did apply my glossy top coat. I cured that for 30 seconds. I then took my cuticle oil, applied that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of the nails. I did do my thumbnail off camera and actually filmed an Instagram reel. If you want to check out the short little nail tutorial of that nail, you can follow me over on Instagram. One thing I did forget to mention is I kind of wish that this nail art brush set did include a dotting tool because I feel like a dotting tool is something very beginner friendly. It can be super helpful. I mean, in this nail set, I did use a dotting tool for the eyes the dot, the clouds, the cow print, and I just feel like adding a dotting tool in the collection could be something very helpful because I feel like it is something you do use a lot when doing nail art. Um, I would hope that they eventually come out or add a nail art dotting tool. I think that would be really nice. But overall, I love the nail art brush collection. I love the gel pods. I mean, with this entire set, I did use a dotting tool. Excluding that, though, I used only the gel pods and the nail art brushes, and I love how it turned out. I love the Toy Story theme. I think it is super cute. Let me know some other designs that you guys would like for me to try using these nail art brushes and the gel pods. I would love to use them in another nail set and do some more nail art because I had so much fun creating this nail set. I think it turned out exactly like I had imagined. I love it so much. Check the description box because I will be leaving the links to all of the products I used and or mentioned down below. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.